Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tia and I travel part-time in my 1991 Ford Aerostar. And today's video is going to be doing a little bit of upgrades for it. So as a lot of you know, my bumper is definitely in need of a new one. So I'm gonna put that on today with my dad. I'm gonna drive up to my parents' house and he's gonna help me do that. And I'm also going to listen to everybody that's been saying that my uh, stove back there is a fire hazard. So I'm going to build a table to put the stove on so I can pull it out of the van and then put the stove on it so I don't have to worry about the curtains or anything like that. So I'm excited. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get into it. I got my dad here with me helping me and I'm just gonna kind of walk through everything I'm doing <laughs> I'm pretty uh, I don't know anything about a changing a bumper so I'm gonna take you guys along if anybody else is changing a bumper and we're gonna get it done the first thing we have what we have D so we're just gonna try to spray some WD-40 on these bolts and see if we can break them free a little bit so they don't break off on us like uh, like they did when we took the other one off the junkyard. All right, where are the bolts? Let's see if I can get a good angle. So there's two, there's, you got this one and this one on both sides. Okay. And then in this little hole right here is a bolt. So you got okay. three on each side right here. Mm -hmm. And then we gotta take these off. And they're kind of, they're bolted to the uh, bumper and to the frame here. All so right. it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Basically, ten places it's connected. Oh. Penetrate the rust a little bit and uh, make it easier to get off. You want to do that side, and I do this one. Yep. Cool. We found the right socket to fit these. What we're gonna do is he's gonna do this side, and I'm gonna do this side so that I can learn a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a pro! <laughs> uh oh, what did I do? <laughs> Just put it back in. <laughs> That's no problem. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go in and see if I have a deep socket half inch for those other two. Alrighty. So I think I said that the one up here was on the out inside, but it's on this outside part. What's that tool you're using, just uh, in case? It's the same, it's a socket, it's just a deep socket to go deep on socket. there. And all, all of these, if there's anybody out there, trying to do this job all of these bolts we're taking off right now are 13 millimeter if you don't have a 13 millimeter you can substitute a half inch they're pretty they're close enough they both work we got all of the bolts out what's the next step so whoever whoever repaired this bumper they, they just put the uh, fiberglass all the way over the old, so it's all connected. We're going to have to cut that somehow, even over here. It's all connected. That comes off so easy. See, the, uh, it's they cardboard. use cardboard. Made a form out of cardboard and then put fiberglass body filler over top of it or I guess that's fiberglass. I don't know what it is. Some type of body filler stuff is. So pretty impressive but pretty uh <laughs> unique. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
old bumper, new bumper. If you didn't watch my video from Pull Apart, basically I just got this from Pull Apart and spray painted it white. Just start on that side. And let's push the end in. Okay. They so go, we have the trim piece right here. Yeah, this is just a trim piece between the frame and the bumper. Yeah, then see these holes up here? You push those tabs, push those uh, pins these, that I gave you. These there. pins. Yep. And then So we put the trim in, and now what are we about to do? Slide the bumper in place. Okay. So these things on the side, they go on these this bracket right here. It slides in there. Okay. So we'll slide each side on, and I'm going to have you hold the bumper in place while I go under and get a couple bolts in to hold it in place until we can get them all on. Okay. Here's the final product. It's all on there. I think that it looks amazing. Basically all the bolts that we took out at the beginning, we just put them all back on. And it was easy as that. Thank you, Dee, for the help. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for letting me learn along the way and do some myself, too. So up next, I'm going to build a table for the kitchen area. it's nice and secure and I'm gonna take it out whenever I use my stove so I'm gonna do a quick demonstration so I take it out like this and I have this attached to it and what I'm gonna do to keep it sturdy come close you'll be able to see that we have thumb screws right here and what we did was take a pry bar and we undid this right here, pried it up, and then put a T-nut under here. So we just use these right here. I'm going to unscrew them. And this will help it be sturdy when we put the stove on. Line it up. way easier to line up than I thought it would be. And then I'm going to take the stove out. I have a makeshift stove leg right now because one of them broke off. What I'm going to do is probably put a stool right here sometimes so I can sit down do some desk work, some YouTube sometimes. But yeah, I think it's a pretty good addition. Right now it looks kind of funky so I'm going to stain this the same as the sink so it matches and looks a little bit better. 